the haircut a man went to a barber shop to have a haircut and his beard trimmed. As the barber began the task, a good conversation followed. They talked about many people and a multitude of subjects. When they eventually touched on the subject of God, the barber said, I don't believe that God exists. Why do you say that? Asked the customer. Well, you just have to go out in the street to realize that God doesn't exist. Tell me, if God existed, would there be so many sick people? Would there be abandoned, children? If God existed, there would be neither suffering nor pain. I can't imagine a loving God who would allow all of these things. The customer thought for a moment but didn't respond because he didn't want to start an argument. The barber finished his job and the customer left the shop. Just after he left, he saw a man in the street with long, stringy, dirty hair and an untrimmed beard. The man was homeless and unkempt. The customer turned back, re-entered the barber's shop and said to the barber, You know what? Barbers don't exist. How can you say that? Asked the surprised barber. I am here, and I am a barber. And I just worked on you. No. The customer exclaimed. Barbers don't exist because if they did, there would be no people with dirty long hair and untrimmed beards, like that man outside. Ah, but barbers do exist. What happens, is, people do not come to me. Exactly, affirmed the customer. That's the point. God, too, exists. What happens, is, people don't go to Him and do not look for Him. That's why there is so much pain and suffering in the world. If we want something material like an iPhone or car, we generally need to go shopping for it and, if valuable, we must be prepared to spend a significant amount. When we have bought our dream item, we must then take care of it. That's likely to involve more time and more money. So, the leading question. Why are many of us willing to give such special attention to material wealth but not to God? After all, the items we buy and cling to usually depreciate in value over time, God does not and His rewards are for eternity. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke on you and learn from me, because I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear, and my load is not hard to carry. Matthew 1128-30, Remember, God is loving and merciful, look for Him.